Yes, ma'am. We back on a two real Tuesdays. And hey, man, big salute to the GOAT, the greatest entertainer alive. You did what I'm saying. Happy belated Queen Day to Yonce. You know, which I told y'all was the GOAT of performers, entertainers. I told y'all, bro. Told you. And she definitely in the 81 alumni. 81 alumni. You did what I'm saying? Now, it's something about the 81s. Now, you know, these people are GOATs and legends. Now, you can hate, be a hater. It don't, it don't, it don't help you to be a hater. But there's something about the 81s, right? Now, you had the king of Jamaica himself, the prince of Rastafari, Bob Marley, passed in 81. Now, allegedly, he was on the left. Somebody gave him counsel in his foot, in his toe. Okay? Now, that movie is about to come out in 2024. So shout out to the Prince of Rastafari. The king was Haile Selassie. But Bob Marley is the Prince of Rastafari, king of Jamaica. Big salute to Bob Marley. I can't wait to that movie drop in 2024. You know what I'm saying? But big salute to Yonce. I saw it was it was a historical moment. Her and Diana Ross was on the stage together, gracing the stage. Two legends. What a historical night. And can we just go on and say that 2023 belonged to Beyonce? Let's just say it. 2023 was her year. I mean, she has dominated the internet. She's dominated ticket sales. Nobody outsold her. Concert is the greatest in her story. I can't think of nobody else that sold many tickets. She had made so much money off ticket sales. More than anybody. More than her predecessors. Okay? So let's just go on and give 2023 to Yonsei. Okay? Big salute. Let's give it to an 81 legend. Big salute, Yonsei. The, 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 the one of the queens of the house of Oshun, the mama Oshun. Big salute though, to, to Yonsei. They're coming out of the house of Oshun. Big salute. Big salute. We proud of your 81s. It's, it's, it's definitely some legendary folks. Which we, we get a lot of haters, but hey, it is what it is. You can't be that great. You can't get out here and, and, and do your thing without folk hating. So it is what it is. Now, I want to speak on that. Speaking of haters, now, y'all know when you're a truth teller, this truth teller Tuesdays, you can't be a truth teller and not have haters. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people that's going to hate you, bro. They're going to hate you for just for no reason, just because you carry the true energy. So expect that. Expect the higher you go and the more you know to catch and carry haters behind your back. Please expect this shit. But one thing you can bet on, bro, and I will say this, one thing that you can bet on is that if the divine is really with you, you will know it. Because your haters either going to disappear or you will see them fall in front of you. You will see something happen to them. And she going to let you know the God, the God herself is going to let you know. I did this to your haters because they were trying to persecute you. So that's one thing I say about the patriarchal Bible that was written by men for men. I will say they had that right. They did have that Jesus story right. But that Jesus was a woman, though, because the woman is the truth. She's the power, the truth, the way, and the life. She is. She's all of that. So I will say patriarchal. Uh, 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 folk who wrote it had that y'all had that shit straight because Jesus definitely got persecuted for telling the truth so you had that right so that go out all my truth tellers expect people to hate you 
expect for you to walk in a room and change the goddamn whole room, the atmosphere and the energy, because you carry the truth with you. And these people may be flaw, fall, false, haters. You know what I'm saying? You are everything they want to be. So expect being a truth teller to have this aggression towards you. Expect it. But know that you are protected by the divine herself. And you will see it. You will see it. Everywhere you go, you will see it. You will see your protection. People will try to do whatever they want to you, towards you, talk about you, try to use spiritual work against you. And it only, it only falls back on themselves, bro. Or it falls on their children, or it falls on somebody close to them. But you will see it. So, on a Truth Teller Tuesday, keep standing in your truth. You know what I'm saying? Absorb all the knowledge you have learned from somebody else who taught you. Because I know a lot of stuff I learned from watching. I watched plenty of YouTube videos. And I told y'all before, my teachers, some of it I learned through my experience, but my teachers was Bobby Hammett, mainly Bobby Hammett. Shout out to Baba Bobby Hammett, C. Freeman L., and a lot of others. Jewel Pukum, a lot of them. But anyway, y'all yeah, stay in y'all truth, man. Don't be scared of shit, because the divine got you all the way you did, what I'm saying? Big salute to my 81s. Y'all be easy.